joining us today on It's Academic. Nice to have you here. Let's get to our opening round. We start our teams out with 100 points. This opening round, 10 points for each correct answer, 10 points off, should you miss. Our category teams is called Six Letter Names. You can count on your fingers here so you can identify the following persons whose last names all have six letters. We begin. She led 300 slaves to freedom. Howard Tubman. Tubman. T-U-B-M-A-N. Six letters. Next. In 1909, he and Robert Perry. Henson. Howard. Henson. Henson. They both discovered the North Pole. Indeed. Next. This French diplomat sponsored a 1928 pact with American Frank Kellogg. That six-letter name is Brion, B-R-I-A-N-D, Aristide Brion. Next, from 1959 till 2008, he headed the government of Cuba. Howard Castro. Fidel Castro is the six-letter last name. Next, in 1651, this English philosopher wrote Leviathan. Hobbes. Yes, Howard. Hobbes. Hobbes, Thomas Hobbes. Next, he's the junior U.S. Senator from Maryland. Howard? Damn. Jim. That would be Ben Cardin, C-A-R-D-I-N. Next, he is the author of Native Son and Black Howard. Oh, right. Right. Yes. right, Richard Wright. Thank you, Kyle, for your assistance. Lastly, he collaborated with Karl Marx on the Communist. Engels. Yes, Howard. Engels. Engels, Friedrich Engels, and that's the end of the opening round. <laughs> of our 43rd season of It's Academic here in Baltimore. We've got a great crowd, we have nine great players, and we have a lion loose in the audience out there too. Kayla, the Howard mascot, she's here for her third year as a lion. Kayla, you do a great job. Let's have a, let's go to our first team, absolutely, Kayla. Our first team, let's meet them. Let's go to Northern High School, Micah and Richard and Ian, all here for the first time, all dressed identically over there, a formidable-looking team. Micah, tell us about yourself. Hello, I'm Micah Calderwood. I am a 15-year-old sophomore at Northern High School. I'm a part of the marching band, and I'd like to thank our families for their support and our alternates. Wonderful. Yeah, the alternates are an integral part of your, of your team. What instrument do you play, Micah? Baritone. Baritone. All right. Richard, welcome. Uh, I'm Richard. I'm a 17-year-old senior. Uh, in addition to its academic, uh, I'm involved in the uh, Lorax Environmental Club and uh, production crew in theater. Wonderful. Busy young man. And Ian rounds out our team. Hi, I'm Ian Feaster. I'm a 17-year-old senior. I'd like to. I also participate in football and in JROTC. I'd also like to thank Miss Eklund and Mr. Halston. And who are they? Our coaches. Wonderful. We'll meet them in just a few moments. Thanks, Ian, for the heads up. Gentlemen, look at your monitor. These questions are for you. No penalty should miss 20 points for each correct answer. We begin. The liberal eight. Whether you're liberal or conservative, see if you can find in this phrase the name of what capital city of North Carolina? Raleigh. Yes, Raleigh. Raleigh it is. And since this is non-competitive, guys, you don't need to ring that buzzer, all right? But we like your enthusiasm. Next. <laughs> Plethora, scarcity, silence, prudence. Which two of these four words are opposite in definition? Scarcity. What do you think? Plethora and scarcity. Plethora and scarcity. Those would be the two. Yes, indeed. Next, ham set. Get set to earn 20 points. If you can rearrange the letters in this phrase to name what important river that flows through London. Thames. Thames it is. Thank you, Micah, for your assist. Here's a choice among John Steinbeck, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, and Eugene O'Neill. All three of these men won the Nobel Prize for Literature, but which one of them is the author of Love in the Time of Cholera? Which one? O'Neill. Uh, the middle one, Gabriel Garcia Marquez. And lastly, one of the great events in American history. This was a description of the unsuccessful charge up Cemetery Ridge at the Battle of Gettysburg, named for what Confederate general? Pickett. Pickett. It is indeed Pickett. Well done, Northern. That's the end of the round. 180 points. All right, we move to our next team where Northern were all new.
new to our program, the team at Howard. They have all been here before multiple times. They had a great first round. Kyle, nice to have you back. Give us your story. You're welcome. All right. Hi, I'm Kyle Doubleday. I'm a 17-year-old senior at Howard. Uh, in addition to ITSAC, I'm on the math team, and I enjoy reading Greek philosophy and science fiction. And I'd like to thank all our ultimates here. I have a long list of them. Uh, Dana, Michael, Natalie, James, Jordan, Kayla, both Sams. Rachel, Alina, Alyssa, Naomi, Miles, Maddie, and Philip. Thank you all for coming. Uh, you continue to support means the world to us. Wow, what a support group out uh, there. That really testifies to how important you take its academic out there at Howard. Nice to have you here, Kyle. And Brian, welcome back. Hi, thank you. Uh, my name is Brian. I'm a 17 year old senior at Howard. And in addition to its academic, I'm on the Future Business Leaders of America and am in the Math and National Honor Society. Uh, I'd like to thank our assistant principal, Ms. Veslini, and our coach, Mr. John Buehler. Wonderful. And they'll be up in just a few moments. And your coach was formerly the coach of the year here, the Sophie Altman Coach of the Year winner. So uh, we think very highly, highly of him here. Patrick, good to have you here. Thank you. Uh, hi, I'm Patrick. I'm a 17-year-old senior at Howard. And in addition to its academic, I'm part of the National Honor Society and the Howard Ice Hockey Team. And I'd like to thank all our friends and family for coming out to support us today. And I'd like to congratulate the James M. Bennett team for winning the Baltimore Championship and Blake for winning the Super Bowl. Wow, thanks for mentioning that. Absolutely. Yeah, the Bennett team last year, they really acquitted themselves well. Thanks, Patrick. Gentlemen, look at your monitor. These questions are yours. No penalties. 20 points. Give a despot a toy. Hidden in this sentence is the name of what starchy vegetable whose failure caused a famine in Ireland in the late 1840s? It's it. Potato it is. Preclude, delude, curtail, and prolong. Which two of these four words are antonyms? Prolong and curtail. Those would be it. Next, as then. Please rearrange the letters in this anagram to name what ancient Greek city Athens. states often at odds with Sparta? Athens. Athens it is. Here's a choice among Genghis Khan, Shere Khan, and Kubla Khan. Two of these Khans were real people. But which was a fictional tiger created by Rudyard Kipling? Sure, Khan. Sure, Khan it is. And lastly, I will be good. This promise was written in her diary by what young woman who would reign as Queen of England for most of the 19th century? Uh, yeah. yeah. Victoria. Victoria it is. Well done, Howard. <laughs> Makes you a 250. All right. The third team, last and certainly not least, hails from Parkville High School, and we welcome Jane and Uganda for the first time. And Sadiq, nice to have you back for the third time. Always good to have you here on our panel. Jane, tell us your story. Hi, I'm Jane, I'm a 17 year old senior. In, in addition to its academic, I'm also a member of the Environmental team, and I would like to thank Mr. Burns, our coach. Wonderful, and we'll see him in just a few moments. Sadiq. Uh, hi, I'm Sadiq, I'm a 16 year old junior at Parkville. Um, in addition to its academic, I'm also a member of the student council and badminton team, and I'd like to uh, thank our principal, Mr. Ames, for supporting us today. Wonderful badminton team, huh? That's great. That's impressive. You got. Hi, my name is Ugana. I'm a 17-year-old senior, and in, in, in addition to its academic, I'm president of our class currently, and I'd like to thank all our alternates and our its academic team. Wow, class president. So you are a big person on campus there. <laughs> nice to have you with us. Look at your monitor. These questions are for you, Parkville. Ask a bully. Don't let yourself be bullied, and you can find the hidden name of what capital city of Afghanistan? Kabul. Kabul is right. Approximate, evil, serene, and precise. Which two of these words are considered antonyms? Um, approximate and precise. Yes, sir. Next, toaster notes. This phrase might suggest appliances, but if you rearrange the letters, you can name what rock that was the key to Egyptian hieroglyphics. Uh, Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone, yes, sir. Here's a choice among Galahad, Lancelot, and Ivanhoe. Two of these three names identify knights of the round table. What third knight was a fictional character created by Sir Walter Scott? Ivanhoe. Ivanhoe. It is Ivanhoe. And lastly, a funny thing happened to me on the way to the White House. This was the opening line of a speech by Adlai, Adlai Stevenson, who lost the presidential elections of 1952 and 56 to what World War II general? Eisenhower. Eisenhower. Well done. You made it look easy, Parkville. 200 points. You know, 
Today's winner will be moving on in our competition, but nobody leaves empty-handed. That's because the Baltimore Orioles are once again proud to support its academic and will be providing tickets next season for all of today's students. You know, celebrating the success of our young people makes us all fans. To find out more about the Orioles' involvement in education and in the lives of youth in our community, why don't you visit them at OriolesReach.com. And before you head to the ballpark, why don't you check us out on the It's Academic Facebook page. Let's check that score. I said it was competitive. It is. Northern right now at 180 points. Howard at 250. And Parkville at 200 points. Nice to play, everybody. <laughs> Picture perfect round. Everybody plays. There's a picture with each question. 20 points for each correct answer. 20 points off should you miss. First picture coming into view. Since sesame seeds were once believed to have magic powers, the phrase phrase open sesame power was uttered by Alibaba in Arabian Nights. Yes, indeed. Correct answer. Next. This plant cannot produce its own food because it lacks what green pigment? Yes, Howard. Yes, chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. Absolutely right. Next, considered a great treasure, luncheon of the boating party is by what French impressionist? Howard Renoir. It is indeed a Renoir. Next, taking positive roots? Uh, that's two. Howard, two plus one. Two, three, four. Three, one. one. Correct answer is? One. One it is, yes sir. Next, Rasputin gained political influence by treating the Russian crown prince for what so-called bleeding? Um, Howard. Hemophilia. Hemophilia is the bleeding disease, indeed. Next picture. This beautiful gorge is one of the spectacular attractions of what Chinese river? The f yes, Howard. Oh, this is the Yangtze. Yangtze. Yangtze is correct. Yes, the third longest in the world. Next, in this double replacement reaction, what element is represented by B A? Howard. Barium. Barium it is. Last picture coming up here. You see a 19th century panoramic view of what city? Long, the capital of Syria. Howard. Damascus. Damascus it is, and that's the end of our picture for the crowd. happen behind the scenes, the faculty, coaches, and administrators at our three fine schools. Let's meet them right now. Let's go over to Northern, currently with 180 points. And Richard, would you be good enough to introduce who you brought with you? Uh, to my right is our principal, Mr. Howard. Uh, behind me is uh, Ms. Eklund, our coach. And uh, to my left is Mr. Halstead, our other coach. Thank you all for being here today and sponsoring these young men. They're doing a great job. Next to Howard with 410 points, some very familiar people back there. Every year they're here supporting the Howard team. Tell us who they are. Uh, to my right, we have one of our assistant principals, Mrs. Wesley. And to my left, we have our coach, Mr. John Gilbert. Wonderful. Always great to see you guys. Thank you for the support you give the team. And our last team with 200 points, the team from Parkville and Sadiq. Some familiar faces back there as well. Tell us who they are. Uh, to my right is our fantastic coach, Mr. Bones. And to my left, is our amazing principal, Mr. Ames. Fantastic and amazing. I like that. <laughs> you got some points for yourself, Sophie. In our next round of questions, should our teams answer all eight questions correctly, we award them 25 bonus points. We light up lights. We release balloons. We make a big fuss. The lights are flashing in front of Brian right now. And Brian, packet one, two, or three for the northern guys. Uh, packet two. Packet two. All right. Richard, Ian, and Michael, let's see if you can get them all and give you 25 bonus points. We start. Army surgeon Dr. Walter Reed proved that yellow fever is transmitted by a nasty species of what insect? Mosquito. Mosquito. Mosquito, Mosquito is right. Don't search the sky, skies for the Star of the West because that was a ship sent in 1861 to relieve what South Carolina fort bombarded at the start of the Civil War? Sumter. Sumter is right. Yes, sir. In keeping with his nickname, the flag of England's King Richard I pictured what majestic animal used to describe Richard's heart? Lion. A lion it is. Science question for you, gentlemen. Look at your monitor. Aromatic, hydrocarbon, paraffin, or diene. Which of these is the class of organic compounds to which benzene belongs? The first one. The first one, the aromatic hydrocarbons. You got it. Next. Bernardo O'Higgins was a half-Irish, half-Spanish soldier 
who helped win independence for what long, narrow South American country on the Pacific coast? Chile. Chile it is, indeed. When he wasn't busy as an alchemist, a courtier, and an astronomer, what 14th century Englishman found time to write the Canterbury Tales? Chaucer. Chaucer. Chaucer it is. Thank you, Micah, for your assistance over there. Math question for you, Northern. Look at your monitor. What number must be added to make this a perfect square? Four. It is four. And I have 25 bonus points for you, Northern. If you get this, listen carefully. San Francisco Bay is named for a saint. But a bay not far away is named for what so-called sea dog, the first Englishman to circumnavigate the globe. Magellan. Good try. Sir Francis Drake was the right answer. Still a good round for Northern. It takes you to 320. All right, we came close to giving away the bonus points. It might happen for Howard and Sadiq. Which of the two remaining packets? One or three for Howard? City. Uh, uh, one. One, okay. You are lost in thought over there. All right. Kyle, Brian, and Patrick, let's see if you can get them all. Many historical figures rode famous horses, but the prophet Muhammad also rode what sort of animal called the ship of the desert? Camel. Camel, yep. Yeah. Both the Green Mountains of Vermont and the White Mountains of New Hampshire are part of what mountain chain that extends from Quebec to Alabama? Appalachians. Appalachians. The land around Naples is especially fertile because of ash from what still active volcano whose lava once covered Pompeii? Yeah, it's it's Vesuvius, it is. Science question on your monitor. Weight in air, loss of weight in water, or density? If two objects displace the same volume of water when immersed, both objects must be the same in which of these ways? That's it. Uh, loss of weight in water was the right answer there. Next, the fourth Earl of Sandwich, for whom the Sandwich Islands were named, was an alumnus of what Eng English university, the traditional rival of Oxford? Cambridge. Cambridge it is, yes indeed. Math, next question. You'd never send a Mother's Day card to the mother of the monster Grendel, whom you meet in the pages of what oldest English epic? They will. They will. Math question on your monitor. Evaluate this expression, taking all words to be positive and giving your answers to me as an integer, gentlemen. Yes, 21. 21 it is. And lastly, thinking that the Supreme Court would never be really important, what first Chief Justice resigned in 1795 to become Governor of New York? John Jay. John Jay. Well done, Howard. Six to five of 50. All right, I have one packet of questions left. I have... Lots of balloons to release and lights to light up. You've got to get all eight of these right. All right, let's see if you can do it, part Phil. Here we go. In 2005, two possible new moons were discovered orbiting Pluto thanks to what space telescope launched in 1990? Hubble. Hubble. Hubble's telescope, yes, indeed. Next. National holidays aren't usually named for jails. But on July 14th, the French celebrate what day named for a liberated prison? Bastille. Bastille Day, yes. Shakespeare's Henry V is set against what long French-English war, which might have been named the Century Conflict? Hundred Years' War. Hundred Years' War. Science question. On the monitor, Parkville, contractile vacuole, cilia, or isotherm? In the protoplasm of a cell, which of these terms describes a membrane-bound organelle that's associated with the discharge of water? First one. First one. Contractile vacuole, indeed. Next. The U.S. Supreme Court can rule an act of Congress unconstitutional thanks to the precedent set by the court when it, ended, when it was headed by what? Fourth Chief Justice. Marshall. John Marshall is the right answer. It is, yes. 30 years have passed since what year? Named in the title of George Orwell's novel about Big Brother. 1984. 1984. Math question for you, Parkville. Solve for X. Give me your answer as a positive integer. 12. It is 12. All right. Here it is. 25 bonus points. Let's see if you can get it. In 1660, three English judges fled to America, fearing reprisals for having ordered the beheading of what Stuart King? Charles. Charles. 
correct answer is Charles the First for 25 bonus points. Giants A plus school rewards. You can earn points and help local schools every time you use your giant card. Thanks to you, Giant has been able to award over $90 million to thousands of schools over the past 25 years and has already committed $2 million to this year's program. Signing up for your Giant card is easy. Simply go to giantfood.com or stop by the Consumer Solutions Center at any Giant store. Then when you shop at Giant, you'll be part of the magic of A plus school rewards. still win this game. Let's check that score. Right now, Northern is at 320, Howard at 550, and Parkville at 385. Well played, everybody. In this round, 20 points. Respect for 20 points off. Should you miss 30 points up for visuals? 30 points down. Should you miss? Good luck. We begin. A 1940 Supreme Court ruling affirmed the right of striking union workers to set up what sort of line outside? Howard? Picket line. Picket lines. That's it. Next. Talk about incentives. Residents could earn two ounces of gold last summer for every kilogram of weight they lost in what D-initialed Arab Emirate. Howard. D-initialed Arab Emirate. It would be Dubai. Next, the official Scrabble Dictionary recently added 5,000 new words, including what one that follows the pound sign and classifies a tweet. Howard. Hashtag. Yeah, hashtag. Hashtag. That's it. Next. 30 points on your monitor. This area was the site of a deadly avalanche that was the basis for a short story by what author of the House of Seven Gables? Howard. Hawthorne. Nathaniel Hawthorne it is. Two numbers have an average of 38. One of them is 31. Uh, Howard. 45. 45. Other one is 45, indeed. Next. To save another man's life. Sidney Carton allows himself to be led off to the guillotine in what Dickens novel set during the French? Howard? Tell to cities. Tell to Tell to cities, that's right. Next. You can still see the underground headquarters where 4,000 Japanese committed suicide on what O initial Pacific? Oh, Howard? Okinawa. Okinawa's right. 30 points. Look at the monitor. The greatest minds are capable of the greatest vices. This quote is from the great mind of what 17th century French philosopher who said, I think, therefore I am. Howard? Descartes. Descartes it is. During the American Revolution, the British formed an alliance with what Native American Confederation? Yes, Parkville. Iroquois. Iroquois is right. Sadiq, next, here's a choice. By convention, electric field lines belonging to negative static. Yes, Howard. They pointed inward. I'm sorry? Pointed inward. Uh, toward the charge is what we were looking for there. Toward the charge. Next. 17th century America is the setting for a mercy. A book by what not? Nobel Prize winning woman whose earlier works include beloved Morrison. Howard Morrison. Morrison. Tony Morrison, that's right. Look at your monitor, teams. This young woman is tending a spinning jenny. Machine invented, Howard? Uh, it was invented by James Hargraves. James Hargraves, next. The movie March of the Penguins. We will not get to that question. The answer was Tasmania. The buster says, our game is over. We will be right back. <laughs> our scores are now official. 320 for Northern, 405 for Parkville, and with 660, what a game they had. Today's winner, Howard High School. I'm Dan Jerry. We'll see you next week with John Carroll Hereford and North Harford. Audience, come on down.